Hello everyone, my name is Naresh and I did my masters in mechanical design engineering. Let's discuss about air conditioning symbols. In this le short lecture, we will get to know about some of the symbols which are used in the refrigeration circuits or diagrams or CAD layouts. So first, let's see what's, what's it defines. It is a process in which the surrounding air properties are altered to more comfortable conditions. It involves cooling, heating and dehumidification. So, air conditioning is a process which, which is taking place to alter the conditions to make it more comfortable to the person or the people who are inside the room. So, during this process, you might be using either cooling, heating or dehumidification. So, let's discuss about some of the main components and then we see how they can be symbolized in the layouts. One, blower motor, compressor, condenser, expansion valve, filter dryer, evaporator. So, as you can see in the diagram, there is compressor and then the fluid goes to condenser, which the condenser fan will help and then to the liquid receiver and dryer and then to the expansion valve and then to the evaporator which is there a blower next to it as well. So let's see how the symbols of these units look like. A blower motor. A blower motor is a fan which will be located next, next to each evaporator and condenser. Normally a motor fan is represented with the letter M as I'm showing with a circle and circled over it with two terminals connected to it for the supply. So these two small boxes next to the circle are to represent brush. So if it's a brushless fan, these will not be there in the symbol. And if it's a brushed fan, there will be these two small boxes next to the circle. So right now what the symbol we are using is, a, is for a brushed motor fan. So let's see how a compressor looks like. So normally a compression is a process where a high volume fluid is changed into low volume fluid. So it is the decrease of the volume. So to represent that, we are entering with a higher volume and then we keep on decreasing and then we're leaving. So this, this is what the process which will take place in the chamber of the compressor. So to represent it, we are decreasing the volume. So condenser. In a condenser, the process takes place is a gaseous refrigerant will turn into a liquid refrigerant. So to symbolize that, so this circle will be represented as the coil, inner coil, and then this is the ambient conditions and the liquid which is leaving the condensing coil will be seen here. And the one which is entering is the gaseous which will change its state and then leaves as a liquid from the condensing coil. So let's see how a receiver dryer symbol looks like. So receiver dryer, receiver dryer, the process in, involves in it is, it will purifies the refrigerant in the air conditioning system. It will takes out the moisture which is included in the refrigerant because this moisture will affect the work cycle of the refrigerant and it will decrease the life cycle of the refrigeration cycle. So as the refrigerant enters the receiver dryer, it will get purified and the refrigerant without any moisture will leave the re liquid refrigerant. It will be with high pressure as you can see in this image and it will get purified in the strainer which is, which is what here we can see. And it will leave with the hi same high pressure from the liquid receiver chamber. Let's see how an expansion valve symbol looks like. So as you all know the expansion valve is used for, for the expansion process it will decide how much refrigerant the evaporator coil should take. So it will expand to give the amount of refrigerant as it needed. So to symbolize that, this is where the refrigerant is entering and inside the throttling device, it will get expanded. I mean, the throttling device will get expanded and the refrigerant will enter into the coil through this liquid pipe. So this is where you are seeing the liquid entering and it will leave with a low pressure to the evaporator. 
let's see how an evaporator coil looks like. So this is how an evaporator coil looks like and to symbolize it, it will be with a circle and this circle represents the coil, inside coil and the ambient conditions which is inside the room, interior conditions and the liquid refrigerant after entering the coil, it will change its state as it's showing. It will change its state and it will convert into gaseous state. And this will leave the coil, as, it, as it's showing, it will leave the coil with a gaseous state. Now, let's see the automobile air conditioning circuit diagram in a 3D. So, this is where the condenser is located and from there the refrigerant will leave to receive a dryer and then it will go to expansion valve, to the evaporator and then it will go all the way down to compressor and the cycle will goes on as, to, as, as it goes to the condenser and this can be reverse cycled as well as the user needs. If he needs a cooling mode, it will be done like this and it will be, if he will be needing a heating mode, it can be reverse cycle. It's called reverse refrigeration cycle and that's how we achieve heating inside the room. So that explains some of the most important symbols which, are, which will be used in air conditioning systems. Let's have a question. Number of blower fans needed in a typical air conditioning system? A. 2, B, 4, C, 3, D, 1. So that explains some of the widely used symbols in air conditioning industry. I hope you all understood. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Bye.